Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hi. It is Pixel Partners, and welcome to... Well, you guys know it is because they're telling the video, I but... I don't. Allie has no idea that this game exists, and I've kept this secret for as long as I need to like, until I, we can make I this can't, happen. I, I'm seeing nothing right nope. now. Nope. So I'm going to let... I'm going to make sure we all experience what's about to happen together. As I hit the play button and present to you, why did that go away? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I didn't think I clicked. Wait. Did I just say, did I just see KFC Presents? Uh, you did. <sighs> this is actually real. Uh-huh. Because I saw something on Twitter about this. Oh, you did? I did. <laughs> oh. But I didn't know that it was like... That it was actually a thing yeah. that became a thing? Um... Yeah! Oh my uh, god. <laughs> Why? Oh man. Uh, yeah, welcome to my love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger looking good dating simulator. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Because, like, so. I saw a thing on Twitter that says, So KFC made a dating sim, and it was like a screenshot with, like, him. But I. I, yeah, no, it's real. It's it's a real thing. It's real, and we're doing this. Because oh, this no. is what the world needs. But it's we not need, what the world deserves. <laughs> it's 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 something for the world, that's for damn sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh <sighs> go ahead and uh, cl click the new game button and we're gonna just <laughs> mosey on along what with this. What the adventure. hell, man? Oh, tell us your name. Um, what is our name going to be? I'm going to have to try and type it in here. I have, I have a new thing, so, or not a new thing. I haven't used this in a long time, like a mobile keypad so you can make this work. What's our name going to be? Oh, jeez. Um. Um. I'm going to call us. Whoa, what you do? Oh, God, it's, it's, it's super. Oh, fucking. The oh, my God. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just, uh. Popeyes. Popeyes. We're going as Popeyes. Popeyes? Why? Because the chicken conspiracy you've, you've, must begin. You've been thinking about this, haven't I you? I haven't. I literally just, I didn't know you could make a name, so I had to just make this. What go. about like <sighs> what? Poppy without like with P O P E Y. So it's like kind of like Popeyes, but it's like a nickname. I guess. Because that was Popeyes but is too. You know what I mean? We're Poppy. We're Poppy. I am Poppy. I am Poppy. Oh, God. All right. Let's see what this gives for us. I'm trying to get my mouse to move. It's being very... I hate this little keypad thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. You sleep soft... Oh, God. It's auto... Is it auto-scrolling? You can stay in the moment forever. Or did I manage to press... The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment You've, forever. You fucked it. Um, I, this can you go back? Uh, this pad is so fucking. Because sometimes they'll have, like, you know, what is that? His dialogue uh, history. You know, let's just start a whole new game again. Since <laughs> this fucking pad is goddamn. And now I've got to do the name again, don't I? Yeah. <sighs> All right. We're going to be poppies since I'm so good at everything I fucking do. <laughs> All right. Let me get this out of All the right, way. Now be very careful with your with your now button I'm gonna, pressing. Now that I've got the mouse out of the way. Okay, don't touch. Right, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Oh boy. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up. Now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, I have to pick an answer. Smack that clock up and at him or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Um, smack you know, that clock. You gotta <laughs> smack that clock, baby. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your <laughs> mind begins to wander. Okay. What's with that fucking chicken Dude, poster? That is a great poster. And is that supposed to be some kind of K pop boy band? Uh, maybe. Uh, sure. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future. Take it seriously! Oh, I was gonna daydream, but oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll let you take the control of that since I'm being the narrator for now. 
I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. <laughs> I guess you're doing this voice. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. <laughs> Nothing can stop you now. You comfortably grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Just what you needed to get your blood <laughs> that sound flowing. sound effect. <laughs> Who eats like it sounded like some kind of like knockoff Minecraft eating effect. It really did. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Oh, Here God. comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh God. Here you go. Oh jeez. Pick a voice and roll with the flow. Good morning, Poppy. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Oh, okay, a, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she always has held herself to a very high standard. Jeez. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. Quicksand box? Excuse me? There's a lot of questions here. What kind of school has a quicksand box? It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. The summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Wow, okay. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject and give her some relief? Huh. Give that good old pep talk. Let's give her a pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. <laughs> I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the face looking tower? That other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own! And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we're graduating, you'll be delighted the world- You'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Oh my god. As you talk Miriam She's just up, eternally crying. You can feel her nerves begin to ease. <laughs> you know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs! Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes, you can definitely <laughs> believe it. <laughs> they don't I, look uh, great. I, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Word. Uh, hey! I meant to say rude. I don't know why I said word. It's Ashley. What the fuck? How do you rival. spell Ashley? <laughs> Who spells Ashley that? That's like some weird, like, you know, when parents, like, pick their kids' names and they want to be fancy about it, so they just yeah. freaking, like, spell it in the weirdest way possible. All right. It's My Ashley. kid's unique. Your arch rival. She is totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She gets everything and anything she wants, and she knows it. Oh, God. Hello, Ashley. <laughs> Yo, I can't see much, but those thighs, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Ow. <laughs> you leave poppy shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. <laughs> ah, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a <laughs> fact that she's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself yes, feel better than I everyone. Yes, I just said. I literally just said. <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. <laughs> Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. What? Has stopped to look at his own reflection okay. in the mirror. What? His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he, stale, while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Van Van. Oh my god. You rang rang. Oh no. <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just close as just just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. What the hell? I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Oh, God. Well, the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Uh, go. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, Miriam. 
She's just still crying. Okay. Buttons. See you later, losers! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Uh, should I do this? <laughs> oh, I mean, I was gonna do a kid, but okay. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh no. I think it's broken. <laughs> okay, yeah, yours works. <laughs> you reach for it and easily pull the door open. Uh, I should do the trick. I love you. Um. I think you mean thank you. <laughs> my name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Oh. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? This one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside In down. In low case. Well, I... Hi, Pop. I'm Poppy, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Can you, can you get in? Help! <laughs> and with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Oh my god. Oh no! A scruffy thing and pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of class. Adorable! Is that a corgi? It's a corgi! Sprinkles. Alright, how- how- mm, 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 mm. What are you thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't know how many- what the female to male ratio is in this game. Yeah. I kind of want to do his voice. Go ahead. No, no. Quiet down, everyone. <laughs> Who's this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he on our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of... What's that say? UCSAL. Okay, USCAL. <laughs> oh, God. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. No. <laughs> what? A cute dog is a professor? This is the best school ever. Oh my god. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I, um... Out of nowhere, what the wind <laughs> begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fills the air inside the classroom. What? I'm chilly. Someone close the window. Oh my god. And then... No. Oh my god. walks in. What's <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student his remarkable goatee. Oh my god. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time. Oh my god. Stand still. <laughs> no. It's him. It's. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel <laughs> Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please. <laughs> call me Colonel. Why that boy? <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Oh no, you fucking Godot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's like a combination of Godot and Markiplier made before, it I guess, is. in a way. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Oh my god. So it begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> and this over here must be sw <laughs> sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back there for false bits smell like a mud melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. I can't read because I'm too busy working on my hair all day long. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. <laughs> you two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. What's all, what all those are your really weird insults? Besides, when Poppy sweats, it's not just gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. <laughs> uh, you take a moment to clean your stuff up. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is getting hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 there might even be really adorable tiny food. <laughs> I love adorable tiny food. I know, right? And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sparks and complete, and complete, and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student as a classroom interrupts the professor and interrupts the professor's arousing speech. What the hell? Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good supper. I really miss. Quiet. <laughs> Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man! Are you sure you're even in the right place? 
Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school to use my teacher. <laughs> Everyone stares at him blankly. Um. Does no one remember me? I'm. <laughs> You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Good. No. Oh. <laughs> let me. Let that be a lesson to your students that tardiness is unacceptable. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see a student's fingers are referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Um. <laughs> this, uh, 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 uh. What? The class bursts into laughter. Yeah. Oh, Clank, you rascal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is this supposed to be their version of Calculus? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. Oh my god. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard a talking dog <laughs> as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart to, <laughs> but tough is well known. Oh my god. You decide to try and <laughs> butter him up by giving him a treat in your pocket. But what kind? I mean, chicken snack, obviously. Chicken snack. All right, got to do this. Uh, hitting a button. There we go. Fucking hate this controller. <laughs> you reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Oh, God. His favorite. Of course. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. <laughs> the fruit professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands <laughs> slick <laughs> by pulling a warm doggy drool. <laughs> You see that the students eye eyeing your jealousy, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Oh my god. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Poppy! There's still a seat here. Oh god. Seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh my god. <laughs> Two good options, but what will you choose? Are we sitting by our best friend, or are we gonna sit by the colonel himself? Oh my god. <laughs> where are we going? I mean, I know where I want to sit, but I think where are we you, you want to do it for the meme. <laughs> well, no, just do whatever you want. Look how fucking cute she is. You're absolutely correct. I want... The cute. We're gonna sit by the cute? Yes. Sit by best friend. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad of you- Wait, what did you say? It's hard to read I'm when so it's glad. on top of everything. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you near me. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class! Of course. You're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? <laughs> Colonel Sanders? You have such a magnetic personality. And there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better! I'd never <laughs> sacrifice our friendship. Yeah! Besides, I'm sure we get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. Yeah! I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. Yeah! So you say, but now that Miri mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? He probably would look better if he didn't have the facial hair, to be honest. Maybe. I don't know. But it's it's the Colonel. <laughs> Anyways, as soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! <laughs> <laughs> Think, Think fast! fast. <laughs> it's time for a pop quiz! Hey, the quiz about me! Oh my god. This incredibly important, surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper! Here comes question number one! Okay. Uh, if, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Uh, I mean... Extremely! <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Pop. <laughs> god, poor guy. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Uh, Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Um... Um... Well, if a forest... If a tree is made tree of, is forest, part of forest... then the feather is part of a chicken, so... Feather! <laughs> That's right! Yay! It's like an IQ test. Yeah. What is the most efficient heating utensil ever created? A spork. The fucking spork. Okay. Spork. Don't push anything without me. The spork. He even mentioned sporks earlier. <laughs> yeah. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Um, a pancake? This may look like a silly face. Camel meat. Camel meat? 
Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. There's no such thing as too much salt. Uh, I want to go with the pancake. The pancake? I mean, I think the first one's the answer. But I want to go with the pancake. Okay, fine. The pancake. That's wrong! Oh god, he's angry. <laughs> and Sprinkle's a good boy. <laughs> he's a talking dog in Tisa Culinary. He's the best boy. Yes, I mean, the best boy. That's right! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the total score is 4 out of 5. Gee, thanks. Only, only one wrong? <laughs> Not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. Even though I knew the other correct answer, but you're I like, know, no. but I don't want to go with that, because yeah. there's no such thing as too much salt. You'd like him to see the Colonel Sanders been watching you, you tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Yes. Time for lunch! <laughs> well, the cafeteria is, n is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking was also be serious about eating. I does just fragrance wafts through and tickles the other nose. It's very poor lighting. <laughs> Your mouth, it waters. Are we just here at like perpetual sunset? Like what's going on? I know, right? Do you smell that? This must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. And what is our lunch? We're gonna find out next time. Probably fried chicken. Probably. <laughs>